Hello, so for this video, we are going to talk about a lot of people have asked me, I've gotten a lot of messages, a lot of emails, a lot of DMs, how should I food prep? How should I create my meals and how should I do it quickly? Because I think that's one thing is, you know, we have very limited amount of time, at least I do, and I like to do things quick and easy when it comes to preparation for my day. And I have some really cool tips that can make this very simple for you. I like to keep the, my, my stuff short, sweet, to the point, and of value. And that's what's exactly what you're going to get in this video. So first, I'm going to ask you to please go to my blog, addictionofchoice.com. Subscribe, subscribe to this channel, and follow along for so much more to come. And thank you to everyone that's subscribed thus far. I hope you enjoy it. So first, the title of this is Food Prep for the lazy. Um, you know, I don't consider myself lazy, uh, but I do pick and choose where I spend my time and I don't want to spend hours in the kitchen. I don't want to spend a ton of time preparing meals. I also don't want to eat out. I don't, I like to control what I put in my body and it needs to be, you know, well-rounded, good macros, good nutrition, because that's important to me. So I don't spend hours in the kitchen. You know, sometimes I will, if I have a little bit more time, but that's very rare. Um, I do sometimes, you know, cook those home cooked uh, dinners and meals, but for the most part, I keep it super simple and I prepare my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner, at least during the week. So to make this very simple, all you need are four things. And I actually have props y'all this time. So I'm excited to show you. So first is a container. If you don't like plastic, get glass. If you want the BPA free, I like these because they stack really easily and they're inexpensive. So a stackable container, and then I use three ingredients. So what I do with these ingredients is a couple things to consider. One is I use a carbohydrate on the days I work out. If I have an off day or a rest day, let's say I'm doing my sauna session, um, or I am, you know, just taking a day off from the gym because I'm so sore, I will probably cut out the carbs a little bit and I won't have the rice or the, the sweet potatoes or anything like that. But on days I lift, absolutely, because since I do intermittent fasting, I need all these calories and fuel in, in my window um, to, to make sure I'm getting the supply I need to maintain mass and to help fuel my muscles. So on that note, if you haven't watched my intermittent fasting video, make sure to go back and watch that. It's, it's a great, valuable five-minute video that explains how you can fast and eat and really you know maintain lean muscle and lose some weight. So I got my container right? And then I have my three ingredients. So I have my protein, my carbohydrate on days I work out, um, and then my vegetable. So first is the protein. I usually just get some chicken. Like this is already cooked chicken. Yes, it's not, you know, straight from a chicken farm slaughtered and, you know, farm raised, but, you know, eating healthy and exercising, you can, you can give and take on some areas and sometimes convenience, I, I kind of, you know, take a little bit, but you know, eating vegetables, a little bit of chicken and rice is not a bad thing. So I use this for simple. Sometimes I'll do a rotisserie chicken. Um, sometimes I will, I will get a pan of chicken and actually cook it myself. Just depends on how much I have time. If I'm on a time crunch, this works just fine at Trader Joe's. So I got my <clears throat> protein. I got my vegetable, some kale. A lot of times I'll use broccoli, uh, Brussels sprouts, anything green usually. And then I got my rice. This rice is super easy to, um, to make. Three minutes in the microwave, that's it, done. So I combine them all, put a little coconut oil in it and season it, and then it's done. That's it, that's all you have to do. Um, I think the components are, are the easiest, right, to remember. A little bit of carb, um, protein, vegetable, days you don't work out, substitute the carb for a fat, throw in an avocado and keep it really, really easy. Um, when I prep bre breakfast, I'll throw some eggs in here. You know, I'll cook up a few eggs, put them in there, throw, throw a little meat as well. And that's my breakfast. So then I have breakfast, lunch done. And it takes me 30 minutes maybe to prep, you know, nine to 12 meals. So I think it's so important that you, you know, just like this video, it's short, sweet, simple. Don't overthink it. Don't overcook it literally and you know, make it as easy as possible. So um, once again, I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, subscribe, let me know what you think below. Um, subscribe to my blog, addictionofchoice.com and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channels as well. 
and let me know what you want to see. I'm here to help you. And, you know, throughout my journey, I've experienced a lot of success in health and wellness, sobriety, fitness, mindset, motivation, all that. And I love to talk about it. And my goal is to help you all. So <clears throat> thanks again for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.